hi everyone welcome back to my channel t and art i hope you all are well so let's start today's video so today i thought i'll just make a bit of a different video as i'm welcoming the autumn so let's start so in my previous video i have shared i did apologize in advance because i knew the angle of the video was not so great the flower turned out so beautiful i wanted to share it but i will make up today for that and i'm just and i hope you can see what i'm doing today so today i will be using a uh, show you raisin it's one to one ratio raisin and it's um, a lovely raisin i did try this raisin before and i made flower and it turned turned out amazing so i will link the raisin in my description if you like to do it yourself so let's start what i'm doing here is i have mixed my raisin and around uh, 100 ml of raisin and now in my cup i have 15 ml of raisin to this i added five drops of casting craft yes i use casting craft for making flowers because it is a good white pigment paste and really uh, create beautiful petals so at the moment you can see uh, the consistency of my resin is a bit on the runny side but uh, you need to wait around 20 minutes so as we had a uh, heat wave here in uk so i didn't wait around 20 minutes i did wait around 15 minutes because my resin was about to get thick so I just explained that you need to have a honey like consistency. So here I'm adding uh, some gold foil into the center. So this is actually a mixture of beautiful colors of foil and it has a beautiful copper gold and a bit on the pinkish purple. It's such a beautiful collection uh, combination of foil. I will uh, see if I can find the link for this uh, foil because I bought these from Hobbycraft. That's a craft store in our UK. So I really like to add foils in the center for the flowers so that's why i do you can add uh, whatever you like it's really up to you as these foils are budget friendly also so yeah that's the one of the reason so i will be using let's reason inks today i do use octopus a lot but i will be uh, doing the let's reason today because i don't have so many colors in octopus alcohol ink so that's why we have a collection of beautiful color in let's reason so i am using some red and orange shades from the uh, reason let's reason kit alcohol ink as it's autumn so i'm going to make some autumn sort of color theme here So following after the red i am adding some orange so i will mention all the colors that i have used for the alcohol ink and the side so you can see if you like to make the same flower so i do add the inks uh, the inks in the beginning when my resin is not thick because i want the inks to get settled so that's why i do add them before and after that i wait for my resin to get thickened up and now i'm adding this dark red color into the edges i don't want to uh, have any color in the center just on the outer edges So enhance the beauty of my flower and this is something I'm doing a bit uh, new. Uh, I do add alcohol ink to my petri dish effects but I never add this uh, metallic alcohol inks to my flower technique. So I'm using a copper alcohol ink by Pinata and I'm doing the, uh, adding the inks on the edges. So I have taken a piping bag and now I will be adding my white resin into the piping bag. So 
so it's all done now and my resin has been sitting around for 15 minutes as i explained before that we have a heat wave uh, in uk so i did wait 15 minutes and now i will be going in a bit of a different design today i just want to experiment and see the results so i'm just cutting the tip of my piping bag according to my need how thick or thin you want the petals to be it's really up to you So following up, I will be adding dots on the edges of this flower. Slowly, I will be adding the drops. So I know I'm experimenting here and these dots can be turned into a plop. So, but I really wanted to, I had this stuck in my mind and I had to try it. So it's all about experimentation. And after doing the drops, you will be seeing that I am just doing the simple swirl in the center. And here we go. I was uh, confused and stressed also because I don't, know, I don't know how the flower will turn out. But this time I thought just let it go and do what I think. So after that with anything pointy I got a wooden stick or stick here around me so I just took it and I started making the uh, petals here so you, you will see that what I'm doing here I am I am taking my stick and creating a petal here with each drop that I poured I'm taking the drop and taking it to the center in this way I will be getting a lot of petals uh, you can see a cluster of petals now And very slowly I am going with the petals and making a swirl in the center. So after making all the petals, I will leave this to cure and I will see you next day. So this is the next day and fingers crossed, let's see how it turned out. So I didn't made a flower in this style before, so let's see how it turned out. So yeah, I can see that it turned out really pretty and I'm so happy. So it did turn out pretty but I was not so happy about the center so uh, I did a black coating on the back and after that this is how it looks like when I added a black coating on the back and after that I decided to add something into the center because I, as I told you that I was not so happy about the center and I actually left this flower for some days because I think I, I, I was a bit sad. Then I thought, why not do something to the center? And I added this pretty flower that goes so well. I'm just finding the best angle to add the sticker. And here we go. It went so well with the flower theme and I'm just loving it. After that, my next step will be doing the top coat. So here I am doing the top coat now and really very slowly I am just adding the layer of the resin and this is again is your resin, resin I mixed it and now I am just doing the top coat.
spreading all my resin to all the corners so that I don't get any place that is negative. And let's see finally after curing it how it turned out next day. So this is the next day and I am so in love with it. It turned out so pretty, so beautiful. And please do tell me that you love it as well. I really love and that sticker complements so well and it did hide the center that was a bit on the fussy side. Uh, I could have not made the swirls and I just if I left it like that it might turn out good. But because of the swirls the petal did revolve around but i think it, it's all settled now and just look at that how it turned out so pretty so beautiful uh, thing but i don't have any words so please do let me know in comments that but do you think about the flower and if you have any advices any suggestions everything is always welcome and that co copper ink is also giving that beautiful sheen to it so thank you so much for watching like, subscribe and share. Thumbs up if you like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and take good care of yourself. And bye-bye.